Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to my channel. From time to time, I put out a bunch of videos on whatever. Uh, my channel doesn't really cover anything in specific. It could be pets, it could be plants, it could be DIY projects, it could be anything. So you never know what I'm going to come out with next. Hey, that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Click that. It's going to be running throughout the video. That'll subscribe you to my channel. Hit that bell on the, on the YouTube page and, and that'll give you anything new that I just put out. So let's get to it. Hey, it's Rick, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be like a part four on our prep series. If you didn't see those other ones, look up there at the top at the uh, prep series that I have for uh, different containers. If you're doing like intermittent fasting or just regular storage. These are going to be lids for ball jars, regular mason jars, jelly jars, whatever you like to store in. Um, there's 16 of these. I think they cost around $15 shipped here to the house. You can get these off of uh, Amazon or eBay, and I'll put links at the bottom of the uh, description page there on YouTube under the video, and you can click on them. I appreciate it. Uh, those proceeds will help me put more videos out. So like everything, these are made in China. Um, we really don't have much made in the States these days. Looks like they're individually packed, and it comes with the uh, smaller lid and the wide mouth lid. For the smaller jars and the wide mouth jars. Let me go ahead and take this one apart. Supposedly these are uh, BPA free, which is uh, food grade safe. Um, they're dishwasher safe, top rack only. And the thing that's nice about these is there's no liner. It's just a complete lid. It's molded, so you don't have to worry about rinsing out any liners or anything like that. If you look inside there, you just see the uh, screwed part that goes on the jar. And there's no liner. The plastic itself will create the seal. Supposedly they're leak tight, uh, freezer safe, and that's what I wanted to complete uh, my prep series. We're doing intermittent fasting, and right now I've, I've got some beef bone broth cooking here in my uh, crock pot. It's been in there for about 24 hours. I've been using that for my intermittent fasting, so I wanted to be able to jar it up and freeze it um, for individual doses or soups or whatever I want to use it in, my rice or quinoa, whatever it is that I'm, I'm using that broth for. You can do the same thing with your chicken or beef or pork. Or if you just want to do uh, single doses that you can drink yourself if you're having a problem with intermittent fasting and you need something that's low calorie that's going to kind of give you, you know, that satiated feeling like you've eaten. So back to these, I got off track there. Here's the wide mouth. Let me pan up here for a wide mouth jar. And see how easy it goes on there. It goes on there real easy. And that's nice and tight. So looks like that's going to work out pretty good. So let's try out the smaller jar. Like here's a little jelly jar. And that's on there nice and tight too. So I'm not sure about um, microwavable. If I find a uh, cut sheet on this that gives you more of a description, maybe I'll stick it in the middle of the video here and you can read it. But these are going to work out good. I mean, you can store your teas, your spices, your sugars, whatever it is you want that you're prepping. Or even, um, I've seen some people do their oatmeal ahead of time. They'll fill this up with oatmeal or nuts and raisins, whatever they want. They leave them in the refrigerator and they're good to go for your instant oatmeal breakfasts and things like that. Or even for smoothies. You know, you can go ahead and make them up and put them in there. So I think these are going to work out great. Let me go ahead and uh, fill this up with some water and I'll fill the other one up with water and we'll check out the uh, leak proof uh, claim that they said. All right, so I went ahead and I filled them up with water. Double check it, hot water actually. And there's nothing dripping out of there. That's the wide mouth. And here's the smaller one. And there's nothing dripping. So their claim for uh, being leak proof is good too. Just make sure you screw them on nice and tight. I'm all ready to go ahead and uh, start uh, ladling off my beef broth. And here's a quick tip. When you're freezing your stuff in the freezer, make sure you uh, leave a little bit of liquid or whatever it is you're freezing, about maybe a couple inches from the top there so that when it freezes, it can expand so it doesn't bust your containers. Same thing here. This is the finished uh, bone beef broth. And also, if you have a dry erase um, marker like this, not an indelible one, like a magic marker or anything like that, you want the whiteboard marker. You can print on the top of these whatever you have in there and a date if you want to. Like let's put on here beef bone broth. So then that'll go in there and then we can put the date on there if we wanted to. 
my writing's kind of awful, but <laughs> it gives you an idea. Especially if they're going to go in the refrigerator like this one is, um, so we can just have some sipping broth for the intermittent fasting. So this one will go in the refrigerator, and we know that it can keep for up to possibly a week. So you can sip off of that one, and this one can stay in there for about three months. And then you can just um, put some cleaner on there, and that'll come right off, and just household cleaner, and that uh, dry erase will come right off there. And you can put another date on there, reuse those caps. These are reusable, um, so you don't have to throw them away. And you don't have to worry about any metal rusting with those lids from the ball jars over time, the rings and the lids, or keep replacing lids. You can just go ahead and use this for however long. Hopefully, hopefully they never crack. And we won't have to throw them away and we're uh, good for the environment. So I hope those little tips help. So that's it. Just a small video. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, all the feedback you all give me. I hope you're all doing okay during this the COVID-19 virus. I hope this video might help you out. Hey, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, click that button down there at the bottom, that subscribe button. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Please share with your family and your friends. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you make out with your project or how you like this video. Take care.